Hello, this is part two about building the thighs for my Iron Man suit. So the quick recap is that all of the pieces are made, um, like the legs at least, are made in two parts. So that the uh, so they come to pieces like this, and then I've got um, a semi-rigid strapping system underneath. That's also the same for the rest of the suit. So all the pieces come off. They're held on with um, magnetic plugs and sockets, which I made, and there's several videos in my channel about that. So let's have a look at the thighs, which we uh, basically made last time. So the recap on these is that basically this is one of the thigh moulds, but I originally made them for rotor casting, which means there's only one seam in the silicon. Uh, normally with a fibreglass mould you have a, a mould that's completely in two halves, so you can fibreglass into each half, put them together, then patch up the seam line. So with these, basically I had to do the fibreglass build up through the uh, hole in the top of the mould, which is where you'd put your leg in on the thigh piece. So I did that by basically um, using minimal glass reinforcement to make the pieces. The plan was then to remove them from the mould, cut them in half and continue to reinforce them. So I've now done both casts. So here are the actual thigh pieces. Um, they're extremely thin. They're just laid up with fibreglass surface tissue, which is very, very thin, lightweight tissue, because it was quite um, a lot of hassle having to do everything through this hole in the end. So um, a couple of pieces snapped off. There's a piece I've taped back on there because they are very, very thin. Um, so the original plan was to cut them in half now and then reinforce them further with them in two halves, which will be much easier. Um, so there's several issues with that. One is I'm not sure they'll actually um, withstand being sawn in half. They're quite rigid, but I think that if I if the saw binds or you know it gets stuck as I'm cutting it, then they're probably going to shatter. So I think at least the plan is to put thicker fiberglass down where the where the seam line is going to be before cutting them. The other issue is that they're not really very good, and that's because the original moulds um, were made from the original pieces, which were made of foam. So you can see that um, quite a lot of the lines in them are quite bendy. So um, that's basically because the foam has walked during the moulding process, so there's all sorts of lumps and bumps on them. So they need quite a lot of sanding down and um, cleaning up, and, and some of it's just absolutely terrible. It looks like foam, but in fiberglass. So um, cutting them in half and then trying to sort that out is going to be an issue because they probably won't line up again when I want to put the two halves back together. So I think what I'm going to do, now I've got them out of the mould, is remove a lot of the um, fiberglass around the edges, put as much reinforcement as I can in and see how that goes. I may or may not cut them in half um, before fully reinforcing them, but basically we'll have to get a, a, a feel for how they feel, see how strong they are and see what cleanup I need to do. Also want to see if I can reshape some of the pieces with heat, for instance where this piece bends, uh, by putting it on something flat, heating it up and pushing it out from the inside. In the end I'm probably going to make replacement pieces for these sections, which I'll probably make out of MDF and then vacuum form over. So when the piece is cut in half and it meets at this point, then I'll have another plate that fits over the top, uh, which makes that a bit neater and also act to lock the pieces together. So kind of almost how it was in the actual movie. So I'm going to get various tools out and try and get the uh, sharp fiberglass from around the edges and see how we feel about reinforcing them.
Okay, so I've straightened up a few of the lines, which are, they're not perfect, there's a lot of imperfections still. Um, and I've also brought in this piece closer together because they were a bit too wide because the foam had warped again when I'd moulded them. So now they look not too bad. Um, they basically seem to match the lower legs anyway. So, and they fit me. So that's really good. So the next thing is I'm going to do some more fiberglass reinforcement. Now I've opened up the tops a bit and we'll see what happens next. So that's most of the reinforcement done along the um, cut lines for the seams. So I'll let that go off and I think I am going to cut them in half next, then we'll do the rest of the reinforcement. some fronts cut up, obviously that's the front, that's its matching back, and that's the other leg. So basically now it's going to be much easier to go and do fiberglass reinforcements in here, now that it's open, now I can easily get my hand in, get my brush in, get the fabric in, I'm not going to end up with polyester resin up my arm and so on. So um, it's not very interesting watching me do fiberglass layouts, so I'm not going to make a film of it. But that's the next thing I'll do, and then I have to do a lot of sanding and filling to try and sort out these imperfections. So next time, uh, when we come back, I'll be building the exoskeleton for the thighs, and hopefully these pieces will be ready, and I'll be showing you how I'm fixing them on, and also how I'm making the replacement side panels, which I mentioned, which are going to be a separate piece that fits on over this. I'll be putting pictures on the website which is xrobots.co.uk and there's also a Facebook page which is in the description of this video.